Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about living in the Pocono Mountains and having to deal with bears knocking over your garbage. Basically, like I said, I live in, I live in an area where bears, raccoons, squirrels, skunks, chipmunks, I mean cat fights unfortunately, um, birds, woody woodpeckers, <laughs> um, I live, yeah, I live kind of in the woods where I'm at, and, I mean, oh my gosh, I, our garbage comes, like, I usually put my garbage out on Wednesdays, and being that, you know, I usually, like, our, our garbage comes Thursday morning, depends, like I said, it just kind of depends, but, like, they're Thurs it, it's a Thursday that it comes, so I put it out, you know, um, Wednesday morning, so that I don't have to worry about it since, again, I have two busybodies in my house that, you know, if I leave one, one starts screaming and yeah, it's just, it's a whole mess. But anywho, so I put the garbage out um, this morning at like five in the morning. And I also put the recycle out because our recycle is Friday. Like it's every, it's every other Friday. So, um, what was it? I I mean, I was up one time with um, a friend of mine and we were just talking and all of a sudden, you know, we heard like a huge crash outside and I'm looking outside and I'm like, crap, like I can't really see it. Like I have cameras, but like I can't really see it because like the cameras aren't like, what was it? It's not that big or it's not that like, like it won't hit or yeah, because we don't have light outside, like in the front of our um yard so all of her was a big crash and then you know I saw a big black thing running you know running across the camera <laughs> so you know I was like can you come outside and help me you know just to make sure that you know nothing is I don't know you know just that you know everything's okay so we went out like she what you know we all went outside <laughs> and turns out that he got my garbage and he got my neighbor's garbage and I mean, ugh, it was crazy. It was horrible. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think it took us probably, I mean, it took us a good maybe 20, 25 minutes, 30 tops. Because, like, I think it was a baby. It was a baby bear. But, goodness, it made so much of a mess. And I'm like, I had cake in there and stuff. Because, like, my kids, <laughs> my kids didn't really eat the cake. So, it was just in there. And, um, what was it? I mean, I had everything in there. I can't even lie. I had every single thing. <laughs> So I was picking it back up and again, this, I did not have those bungee cords. And you know, I was telling my husband, I was like, listen, I was like, we need bungee cords because I'm not gonna sit here. And as soon as I hear a freaking thump outside, I'm not gonna freaking keep running up and you know, getting, you know, picking up the garbage because it's, it's too much, it's too much work. And it's, you know, and it kind of, I don't like leaving my kids alone in the house for too long. <laughs> Even though again, it's like, it's not too too far. I mean, too too far, too too far from my house. It's like maybe like an inch away or something, inch maybe two inches away, give or take, depending on like where I move my um my garbage cans. But I just don't, you know, I don't like them in the house alone. <laughs> so anywho, what was it? So yeah, I mean. It was just bad because nobody had their lights on. I mean, I'm the only house that usually we leave our um, front porch light on. And, you know, <laughs> it's just, it helps. But I'm telling you, like, in the Poconos, oh, man. And even with the skunks, I mean, I love, like, they're so cute. <laughs> but I I don't know. It's just, they're just everywhere. Everywhere. So it's like you're looking at them and they're just like, okay, they're like, oh, you got food? Because I usually throw out, like, I'll throw out apples, I'll throw out bread, I'll throw out bananas, and I'll feed, I usually feed, like, the deer, the, um, I feed basically all the animals. So, you know, they come, I don't mind. I know a lot of people are going to say, why are you feeding them? You're not supposed to eat human food. But like I said, a lot of the times it's too late, like, I, you know, by the time we get like food either it's bread or whatever or any bad apples they're kind of already spoiled because my kids really i don't know they're not fans of apples so i don't buy apples like that anymore but like sometimes like with the banana if it's like if it looks too 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 made because i'm just like that i don't like the, i don't like them to um 
or was it too sweet? So I know it sounds funny, but anyway, I just kind of, you know, I just kind of just toss them out with the strawberries and the strawberry little, um, the stems and stuff. They eat it. They enjoy it. That's all I care about. Because like I said, I've lived, I've lived in the Poconos for like over 20, I think it's like over 28 years, but this is like all I know. And all I know is basically animals around. So, so again, like I said, it's just crazy because they always come. They're always coming to my house. I don't know if it's the food that I have in there. I mean, gosh, like, I, ugh, it's, it's, they're always here. And it just pisses, I mean, it pisses off myself and a couple of a couple of other of my neighbors because it's just like, we're putting it outside and ta-da. <laughs> I mean, they'll come rain, snow. Well, not rain, not snow. Sometimes not snow. I did see bears in snow, but... They come like rain, even when it's not raining, thundering, lightning. I mean, they have a field day out there and ugh, I just feel bad. Like I said, I just try like as soon as I see it going, like either my neighbor's property or anyone's property, I run. I run outside and I'll take a bag, take gloves and I'll pick it up because like I said, I am not that type of neighbor. I don't like leaving messes. So, you know, again, that's just me. Not everybody's like that, and I understand that, but yeah. <laughs> but anywho, like I said, just it's just like, like I said, Pennsylvania is really beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But <sighs> these these animals, <laughs> it's like you you literally need like a bungee cord, and then you need like other stuff just to keep them all away. Because even these little squirrels, like they'll rip open. I know with my um recycle. I have them like I usually keep them in like a clear a clear bag a clear garbage bag and they'll usually like rip it open just to like get whatever they want to get and it's just frustrating I'm like gosh so yeah like I said that's that's just like that's that's the joy of living in the Poconos <laughs> so which I like I said I'm not even complaining about it really it's more of just like gosh like why you can say, you know what, whatever. I'm complaining about that part at least because it's the bears. <laughs> the bears are the biggest ones that make a mess here. But again, I love looking at them. I love looking at them with their little babies. And I, I mean, I just love looking at deer with their babies. And I, oh my gosh, by far, I love raccoon. And I've seen so many raccoons back here. <sighs> I just want to take them, just squeeze them all, like all these animals because they're just so cute. But I know, you know, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> so, anywho. Like I said, that's just like my, I don't know, that's just like my uh, issues with leaving garbage, my garbage can outside, basically, when we need it outside. I don't know. Like I just said, everybody has their own ways, but I finally found a way for my garbage to, like, even if it falls down, I don't care. As long as the food doesn't come out and land on somebody's yard or on the road, I'm a happy woman. So, anywho. <laughs> Like I said, this was kind of a rant one, but <laughs> thank you for watching and have a good night.